If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. I do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself I seem to have been only like a boy playing on the seashore, and diverting myself in now and then finding a smoother pebble or a prettier shell than ordinary, whilst the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people. We build too many walls and not enough bridges. I have a fundamental belief in the Bible as the Word of God, written by those who were inspired. I study the Bible daily. If I have done the public any service, it is due to my patient thought. Atheism is so senseless. When I look at the solar system, I see the earth at the right distance from the sun to receive the proper amounts of heat and light. This did not happen by chance. In the absence of any other proof, the thumb alone would convince me of God's existence. Tact is the art of making a point without making an enemy. Truth is ever to be found in simplicity, and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. An object in motion tends to remain in motion along a straight line unless acted upon by an outside force. My powers are ordinary. Only my application brings me success. As a blind man has no idea of colors, so have we no idea of the manner by which the all-wise God perceives and understands all things. God is the same God always and everywhere. He is omnipresent not virtually only, but also substantially, for virtue cannot subsist without substance. This most beautiful system of the sun, planets, and comets, could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. Gravity may put the planets into motion, but without the divine power, it could never put them into such a circulating motion as they have about the sun, and therefore, for this as well as other reasons, I am compelled to ascribe the frame of this system to an intelligent agent. To me there has never been a higher source of earthly honor or distinction than that connected with advances in science. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true, for if the things be false, the apprehension of them is not understanding. All variety of created objects which represent order and life in the universe could happen only by the willful reasoning of its original Creator, whom I call the, the Lord God. I do not love to be printed on every occasion, much less to be dunned and teased by foreigners about mathematical things or to be thought by our own people to be trifling away my time about them when I should be about the king's business. If a projectile were deprived of the force of gravity, it would not be deflected toward the earth but would go off in a straight line into the heavens and do so with uniform motion, provided that the resistance of the air were removed. It is indeed a matter of great difficulty to discover, and effectually to distinguish, the true motions of particular bodies from the apparent because the parts of that immovable space, in which those motions are performed, do by no means come under the observation of our senses. The description of right lines and circles, upon which geometry is founded, belongs to mechanics. Geometry does not teach us to draw these lines, but requires them to be drawn. God in the beginning formed matter in solid, massy, hard, impenetrable, movable particles, of such sizes and figures, and with such other properties, and in such proportion to space, as most conduce to the end for which He formed them. God made and governs the world invisibly, and has commanded us to love and worship Him and no other God, to honor our parents and masters, and love our neighbors as ourselves, and to be temperate, just, and peaceable, and to be merciful even to brute beasts.